The scene is about to change completely, and it's no exaggeration to say that 2026 could be remembered as the year Tesla turned the tables in the electric vehicle sector. Between confirmed rumors and increasingly specific leaks, the Model 2 has gone from being just a vague promise from Elon Musk to becoming the center of attention. Many people turned up their noses when the Model Y standard arrived, costing almost $40,000. But now, with the new Model 2 promised for $30,000, the story takes a different turn. It's as if Tesla has decided to stop playing around and finally deliver a truly affordable electric car with a new look, a bold proposition, and a sharp production strategy. And the best part? It doesn't look anything like an entry-level Tesla, quite the opposite. The launch is scheduled for May 2026, and everything indicates that the car is practically ready. The Fremont factory was chosen to handle the production line, which in itself is curious. This plant is old, yes, but it's also where Tesla tests and implements its most innovative technologies before spreading them to other factories. Therefore, Mass production of the Model 2 should be fast, lean, and surprisingly efficient. The plan is clear, to transform this compact hatchback into the new darling of the global market, especially in the United States and China. The project is being treated internally as the most memorable in Tesla's history, and considering the company's track record, that's no small feat. Unlike other models from the brand, the Model 2 will not follow the same design path. It's not a miniature version of the Model 3, nor a shrunken version of the Model Y. The new car has its own personality. This was evident in documents leaked by Chinese suppliers, which already mentioned a compact hatchback with a unique visual identity. No copying what already exists. Elon Musk reportedly made it clear to his team, this is not a project to save money by reusing designs, but rather a chance to create something truly new. And let's face it, a Tesla hatchback is something the market has been waiting for for a long time. Many people still associate affordable cars with the idea of something simple, bland, and poorly finished. But the Model 2 came precisely to challenge that view. It was designed for those who dream of owning a Tesla, but never had the means to pay for one. It's the car for those who always looked at it from afar and can now finally have their own. And that, in itself, already makes this model different from anything the brand has ever launched. It's not just about cutting costs. It's about opening doors, literally. By all indications, the Model 2 should become the first Tesla for millions of people worldwide. The most interesting thing is that, even though it's cheaper, the car won't be a second-rate product. Sure, it will have cuts, many of them, but the decisions made so far indicate a very intelligent strategy, simplifying without compromising Tesla's core experience. The company knows it needs to deliver something that still feels like a Tesla, even if it costs $10,000 less than the Model Y. And it's precisely in this balance that the Model 2 can stand out. Tesla isn't trying to compete with mass market cars. It's trying to create a new standard of popularity. As contradictory as it may seem, the lower price may be precisely what will place the Model 2 on a higher level than its rivals. While Chinese competitors like BYD and even Toyota's hybrid models fight over pennies and promises of durability, Tesla is betting on something bigger, belonging. Owning a Tesla has never been just about having a car. It's about being part of a constantly evolving technological ecosystem. And the Model 2, even costing only $30,000, carries this DNA. This completely changes the game, and consumer expectations as well. That's where a key piece in this revolution comes in, the Shenxing 2 battery. Without it, the Model 2 would be nothing more than a good intention with a competitive price. But with it, the car transforms into something that defies all expectations about what an affordable vehicle can offer. Developed by the Chinese giant CATL, this battery is of the LFP type, cheaper, safer, and much more durable. But what no one expected is that it would be so powerful. We're talking about a range that can reach 800 kiloliters, 
and a simply absurd charging speed, 320 miles in just five minutes. That's right, five minutes. Can you believe it? Tesla's great move was to bet on a technology that had been studied for years, but which only now has reached sufficient maturity for large-scale use. The Shenxing 2 is not just another battery. It represents the turning point between low cost and high performance. Traditionally, LFP batteries were more durable, yes, but had slower charging and lower energy density. The new generation changes all that. Now, a car with an iron phosphate battery can accelerate ahead of many lithium nickel models, and more, with consistent performance even in sub-zero temperatures. This detail is crucial. One of the biggest nightmares for electric car owners in cold regions is the sharp drop in battery performance. However, tests of the Shenxing 2 showed that it can charge from 5% to 80%, even in temperatures close to 10 degrees Celsius, and it does so in just 15 minutes. This is an advance that eliminates one of the biggest objections from the most skeptical public. And with this kind of thermal reliability, the Model 2 could very well become the preferred car for those who live in places with harsh winters, such as the northern US, Canada, or parts of Europe. Now think about it. If the battery is so efficient, why not reduce the size of the pack and make the car even cheaper? That's exactly what Tesla is doing. Instead of overdoing it on energy storage, the brand opted for a pack of approximately 50 kilowatts, which is more than enough to deliver around 500 kilowatt of real-world range. And by doing so, it kills two birds with one stone. It reduces production costs and makes the vehicle lighter. The result? A more agile, cheaper car with plenty of range. It's interesting to observe how this efficiency strategy has become Tesla's trademark. While other manufacturers try to compensate for battery deficiencies with software tricks or promises of charging at special stations, Tesla delivers a ready-to-use product straight from the factory that simply works. There's no need to rely on specific chargers or wait for miracles in future updates. The Shanksing 2 arrives ready to go, offering concrete and immediate results. And all this without compromising safety. LFP, by nature, is more stable than nickel-based chemistries. That means less risk of overheating, longer lifespan, and less wear and tear over the years. For the end consumer, this means the Model 2 can be charged daily, used intensively, and still maintain its performance for many years. The expectation is that the lifespan of this battery will exceed 3,000 complete cycles, which is equivalent to more than 1 million kilometers under normal usage conditions. Another little discussed advantage is that, by using a more compact battery, assembly time also decreases. This generates a chain reaction that reduces line costs, logistics, and even the environmental impact of production. It's the kind of decision that doesn't appear in commercials, but makes all the difference when scaling a project like the Model 2 to millions of units. And with China dominating the LFP production chain, the partnership with CATL becomes even more strategic for Elon Musk. With the battery issue resolved, the next piece of the puzzle was the design. And that's where Tesla decided to be daring without being ostentatious. The Model 2 wasn't born to be a showcase of extravagance, but rather an example of how simplification can be revolutionary. The car's structure will be molded using the latest generation of gigacasting, a technology that eliminates hundreds of welded parts and replaces them with large, fused components all at once. It sounds like science fiction, but it's already happening in practice. And in the case of the Model 2, this approach gains even more impact because of its compact size. By producing a smaller car, Tesla is able to apply gigacasting even more efficiently. This is because the fewer moving parts and joints, the faster the assembly process. The Model 2's body should be practically a single piece, something that the brand's larger models have not yet fully achieved. This not only speeds up the production rate, but also drastically reduces costs related to labor, machinery maintenance, and even quality control. 
After all, fewer parts also mean fewer chances of error. The visual result is also quite interesting. The Model 2 will have a cleaner, more uniform, and in many ways, even more futuristic look. It's that quiet beauty, without exaggeration, but which conveys robustness and intelligent design. Don't expect doors that open upwards or door handles that disappear like magic. The goal here is different, to be functional, accessible, and still with that Tesla touch that everyone recognizes. It's like wearing a basic outfit, but tailor-made, simple, yet stylish. This new design also makes the car lighter, which translates directly into energy efficiency. Lower weight means lower consumption, which, combined with the Shenxing 2 battery, creates an explosive combination. High range with fast charging and very low cost. It almost seems like Tesla found a loophole in the laws of physics. But in reality, the secret lies in the engineering conceived from scratch. Nothing was adapted from another model. Everything was designed exclusively for this purpose. And that completely changes the game. Furthermore, it's worth emphasizing that this car is a true hatchback. That is, ideal for urban environments, with good maneuverability and intelligent interior space. And because it's more compact, the Model 2 adapts perfectly to dense cities, where SUVs like the Model Y end up being a bit excessive. It's the kind of car that fits in any parking space, but still carries the technological DNA of a Tesla. And let's face it, that's rare in the electric car market today. Tesla also used this project to test new, lighter, and stronger materials, further reinforcing its commitment to efficiency. There are rumors that parts of the car body use recyclable aluminum alloys with optimized thermal properties, which also helps with overall battery performance in hot environments. These are technical details that not everyone notices, but they make a huge difference in the user's daily life. When you open the door of the Model 2, the first thing you notice is the contrast with other Teslas. The interior is more streamlined, more direct, almost raw, but still modern. There's no gratuitous luxury here, and that's intentional. The idea was to cut everything that wasn't essential to keep the cost down without losing the essence of the Tesla experience. Instead of vegan leather, the seats are made of durable, easy-to-clean fabric. Instead of a panoramic sunroof, a solid structure that improves rigidity and reduces weight. Does that seem like a small detail? But all of this has a very clear reason to make the car accessible to millions of people who never imagined owning a Tesla. The central screen, now around 11 inches, also joins this simplification trend. It may be smaller than those in more expensive models, but it remains the car's brain. Everything happens there. Media control, navigation, car settings, and even voice commands. The interface's fluidity has been maintained, and the chip responsible for performance is the same one used in the more expensive versions. In other words, it's only smaller in size. The user experience remains fast, intuitive, and, most importantly, true to the brand's identity. One of the most controversial and perhaps the most daring changes is the removal of physical paddle shifters from the steering wheel. No more turn signal buttons or manual gear shift. Instead, touch-sensitive zones strategically positioned on the steering wheel itself take over these functions. This may feel strange at first, especially for more traditional drivers, but the truth is, once you get used to it, the system becomes natural. Tesla believes this is the future. Fewer moving parts, less wear and tear, faster assembly, and, of course, a cleaner, more minimalist look. In terms of comfort, you can't expect the same level of refinement as the Model S. But the Model 2 doesn't disappoint. The sound insulation is simpler, made with single-layer glass and a sound system with fewer speakers. Even so, the interior environment was designed to be functional and pleasant. Ambient lighting is reduced to a single color, a decision that may seem trivial, but saves on wiring, digital controls, and even assembly time. Everything has been reduced to the essentials, 
with a total focus on efficiency. Many critics argued that these decisions could alienate the more discerning consumer. But here's the point. This car isn't for those seeking luxury. It's for those seeking accessibility. For those who want to move away from fossil fuels but have never seen themselves represented in expensive and extravagant electric models. The Model 2 doesn't try to compete with premium SUVs. It wants to be the first Tesla for those who never imagined owning one. And in this context, every cut makes sense. It's a car made with the mind of an engineer and the heart of a revolutionary. Another interesting aspect is that, even with this overall streamlining, the Model 2 retains a front camera integrated into the bumper. This shows that, even in a cheaper model, Tesla remains committed to the evolution of autonomous driving. The idea is that the car could, in the future, be used as part of the brand's fleet of robo-taxis, generating income for the owner when it's not being used. In other words, even as an entry-level car, it's already born with one foot in the future. Not bad for someone paying only $30,000, but a truly connected car doesn't just depend on pretty software or functional apps. It needs to be online, always. And that's precisely where one of the most surprising elements of this new Tesla comes in. Integration with Starlink. Yes, that same satellite network created by SpaceX to bring internet to the whole world will now communicate directly with the Model 2. And this isn't just another futuristic feature to impress. This is serious. Tesla wants to transform its cars into true connectivity hubs on wheels, capable of operating even in the most isolated areas of the planet. The patent has already been registered. Tesla has developed a special type of roof with materials that allow radio signals to pass through, which, in practice, means that the signal from satellites can pass through the car without losing power. No strange external antennas or separate modules. Everything is embedded directly into the car's structure. This solves an old problem, the dependence on cellular networks, which, as everyone knows, fail precisely when you need them most. Imagine being stuck in the middle of nowhere and not even being able to open the car because the app is offline. This integration with Starlink promises to eliminate this type of situation. And more than that, it paves the way for a new type of in-car experience. We're talking about faster remote updates, optimized autopilot operation, seamless video streaming, and of course, safety in emergencies. All this thanks to a connection that covers almost 100% of the globe. It's as if the car always has a direct line to the sky, literally. But there's more. The car can also become an internet hotspot. In other words, besides browsing the internet, you could connect other devices using the car's signal, your laptop, tablet, cell phone, whatever. This transforms the Model 2 into a mobile office, or rather, a digital base of operations. For those who work remotely, travel a lot, or enjoy camping, this function can be simply indispensable. After all, who wouldn't want fast internet even in the middle of the desert? Of course, there's a curious side to all this. If the internet follows you even to the mountains, goodbye excuse for not answering that email or that work call. But honestly, the benefits far outweigh any inconvenience. In real-life risk situations, this connectivity can save lives. There have been countless cases of people who were trapped, without signal, without help, depending only on luck. With Starlink integrated, a button would be all it would take to send a distress signal. While the Model 2 prepares to dominate the entry-level market, Tesla is also aiming higher, or rather, heavier. The year 2026 will not only be marked by the arrival of the revolutionary compact hatchback, but also by two giants with ambitious proposals. 